Oh, the Commercial Space Flight Federation is the organizing body for the commercial space flight industry. So it's an industry association. It's, uh, the core members are composed of basically three types, uh, suborbital vehicle developers, uh, orbital space transportation developers, and spaceports. And then there's a number of supplier companies and service providers that are members as well. We have over 50 member companies now. Uh, everyone ranging from the suborbital companies, Virgin Galactic, Xcore Aerospace, Mass and Space Systems, uh, Armadillo Aerospace, orbital space companies like United Launch Alliance, SpaceX, Sierra Nevada Corporation, uh, Bigelow Aerospace, uh, and then there's a number of the spaceports, Florida, New Mexico, Mojave Spaceport out in California, and then uh, the, the remainder of the membership is made up of supplier companies, people building everything from rocket engines to life support systems to service providers of, of every possible type. When was the Commercial Space Flight Federation formed? So it was formed in initially in 2005, shortly after the XPRIZE was won in 2004. Uh, then the organization has been really ramping up ever since, taking on more and more tough issues, uh, you know, really culminating in the last few years where we had a major space policy debate in this country over the role commercial space was going to play in NASA's future. And those last few years, uh, the industry has, I think, really come into its own. And it was recognized as being able to play a leading role in what NASA's doing. And now these companies are going to be NASA's primary means of getting our astronauts to the space station. And uh, uh, how long has the uh, Federation uh, been in existence? So the Federation was actually started shortly after the XPRIZE was won in 2004. So it came about in early 2005 uh, and then really came into being over 2006 and 2007 when there was a number of FAA regulations that were being implemented. The industry was really trying to work with the FAA on the best way to do that. And then things really ramped up actually when, uh, when the uh, commercial crew program was being put in place along with all the other big space policy changes at NASA by the administration when they came in. How long have you been with the organization? <clears throat> So I've been with the organization pretty much since the beginning, uh, back in 2005. So I was working at the XPRIZE Foundation at the time, and the organization was just getting up off the ground, and I had an opportunity to work on it while I was there as a staff member at the XPRIZE Foundation. Uh, who, who founded the CSF? Well, it was actually the entrepreneurs and the, the CEOs themselves of these companies. So they got together. Uh, realized that they really needed to be able to present a unified front for their interests in Washington, D.C., uh, to policymakers, to the FAA, to NASA, and also to be able to coordinate a few things amongst themselves in the industry like technical standards. So they came up with the idea for a new industry association. Who are some of the members of the Federation? Sure. So basically all the companies that people have heard of that are doing commercial human space flight Everyone from Virgin Galactic, United Launch Alliance, Bigelow Aerospace, SpaceX, uh, XCore Aerospace, Maston Space Systems, uh, the list goes on and on. There's honestly, there's a huge industry out there that's doing fantastic things.